in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back, honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we have started the chapter and it was about word and word formation processes. Listeners and audience, if you remember, in the previous topics, we talk about coinage. That what is coinage? We also talk about etymology. Listeners and audience, today, our topic is borrowing. That what is meant by borrowing and what are the reasons of borrowing? In other words, why one language borrows word from another language? Listeners and ideas, borrowing is a process by taking one word from another language. And then that language use, uses that word. This process is known as borrowing. And there are many forms of borrowing. One is related to taking a word completely. It means that when a complete word is taken from a language and it is used in another language. For example, take the word of cricket. So mostly cricket is a word which is used in so many languages while it has been borrowed from one language. So in this process, a complete word is borrowed. Another uh, changing or another borrowing uh, form is semantic borrowing. What is mean by semantic borrowing? Semantic borrowing mean that only the meaning of a word is borrowed. Take the example of refrigerator. Refrigerator. Listeners and audience, this refrigerator is a word which is borrowed by Chinese language. But this word is not borrowed, only the meaning of this word is borrowed. In Chinese or in China, refrigerator is known as ice box. And another form of borrowing is that when a compound or hop of the word is taken from a compound word and hop of the word is used listeners and idols. Now, the question is that, what are the reasons? What are the reasons of her borrowing? Why one language borrows word from another language? This is the question. So, there are almost four reasons where a language borrows word from another language. One reason that is Cultural mastery. What does it mean? It means that when one country invades another country and then that uh, country or that culture has influence over another country. Take the example of uh, uh, the previous history of English language, like uh, how the Anglo-Normans, they invaded England or Britain. And also take the example of a subcontinent as British came to subcontinent. So they have influence. So one is cultural mastery. That's when uh, one culture has influence over another culture because of invasion. So when one language has an influence over another language, because of invasion as well. As I presented two examples, same is the case. English language. 
There is the influence of French language over English language. There is the influence of uh, another language such as uh, Greek language over English language. There is the influence of Latin language, Spanish language over English language. So this is one reason. Next reason is meat. Listeners and audience, due to very important need, which is need related to uh, it, the need may be religious, it may be political, and it may be uh, related to economics, even technological need. So, due to the important re reason, one language borrows a word from another language. And there is a valid example uh, related to technology. Like take the example of Facebook. So this word is used in another languages and it is derived from one language. And take the example of uh, coronavirus. And uh, this word is recently invented. So it is worldwide used. And the third one that is lack of translation. Lack of equivalent translation or lack of translation means that whenever there is a lack of translation of that word, that a word is not properly translated from one language into another. So what does the translator do? The translator having facing such problem, then he writes the words or trans no does not translate the word that word, but he writes as it is in another language. And there are so many other words. For example, uh, when one culture has some words which is not able to translate and another culture, so then it remains as it is. For example, uh, so many terms are there. In Pashto language, we have khachari. This word is not translating to another word, so it is borrowed to another language and it is written as it is. Yes, there is explanation of that word, but it is written in the same way. And the fourth one, that is multilingualism. Multilingualism. Listeners and ideas. Whenever the people, they speak more than two languages, more than two and three languages, and multilingualism is there, so then, Many words are borrowed, and those words they become the fault of other languages. And there are so many other examples which have been used because of multilingualisms. And you may give many other examples in current era that how the people they are multilinguals, that how they use different languages and then they use. In the last one, that is the fifth reason. And it is what? High standard. High standard values. Or you may take classes. High standard values or classes, lessons, ideas. This means that whenever in the society, Elite or middle class, they try to use standard words. Sometimes they speak foreign languages. So these words, they have influence in the society. And with the passage of time, they become the part of the language. So that's why whenever the middle class or the elite class, they use foreign languages or uh, standard words in English language to show their status, so that's why it becomes or these words become the fault of uh, the language and uh, this is also known as one of the process of borrowing. So hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.